Computer-aided design and drafting are some of the most important skills for mechanical design engineers. In this video, I will guide you through the most efficient way to learn CADD. Hello Newtonians, Matej here. Abo asked me in my video introduction to CAD what he should do to completely learn computer-aided drafting and design. In this video, I will answer Abu's question. But first, shout out to Abu for asking such a great question and giving me idea for this awesome video for our community. Not only that, but I'm also starting a Newtonian World Q&A playlist. And if you would like to be featured on the Newtonian World channel, comment on my videos and the best ones will be answered. Let us start now with how to learn CADD. My framework for learning new things is understand what you need and why. Understand what the outcome of your learning is. Break it down in logical learning blocks. Start from the fundamentals. Level up by practicing based on interesting topics. Do the work. In this video, I left out the psychological part of the learning, which is also very important. I assume that if you are watching this video, you are already motivated to learn and that you understand those concepts. If I assumed wrong, let me know in the comments below. Based on my framework, the first thing that you should do to learn CADD is to understand the big picture. By the big picture, I mean understanding how you will use these skills in your professional life. As a mechanical design engineer, you will need CAD modeling and drafting skills. How do I know? In April 2023, I did a research on Fortune 500 companies and their job requirements for mechanical design engineers. I looked into the companies like Amazon, Ford Motors, General Motors, Tesla and many others. From all across experience levels, every job posting required CAD modeling and 83% of job postings explicitly required drafting skills. From my personal experience working in the Fortune 500 company, I can confirm that these skills are not just high in demand, they are essential for success in the field. Fortune 500 companies are leading companies at the front of market innovation. They heavily invest in R&D and uh, they offer competitive salaries due to their significant market share and high revenue. So it makes sense to aim for them. If you are interested in complete research about the required skills for mechanical design engineers in Fortune 500 companies, the links are in description. Let us dig deeper and examine why these best-in-the-world companies seek these skills. Computer-aided design and computer-aided drafting expedite the new product development process and enhance the collaboration between different departments. This results in shortening the time from idea to market and lower the cost of NPD. Some of the benefits of using the CAD software are ability to create complex geometry parts, ability to create complex assemblies, accurate drawings, the fast and efficient drawing creation process, settings inside of the CAD software are easily adjustable to industry standards, file revision control, easy to export and share design files and drawings, easier collaboration between different departments and many more. You will create 3D models for different machines, devices, fixtures, jigs and components. Then you will create engineering drawings accordingly. Furthermore, you will use these engineering drawings to communicate your design intent with your production team or your suppliers. You will have to update your design, change the drawings and create new revisions. All these activities will be supported by your CAD software. With highly developed CADD skills, you can develop new solutions faster, more reliably and at a lower cost, which results in higher company revenue. And that is why companies are eager for you to have those skills. Now that we understand the big picture, let us move on to understanding the outcomes of your learning. In this case, we will focus only on CADD. 
we will not talk about other mechanical engineering knowledge that is required to design things. In this case, the main outcome is to learn how to create production-ready engineering drawings. In the end, we as a mechanical design engineers create physical objects and we must communicate our design intent properly. It is important to understand learning outcomes because we want to make sure that we are focused on the right things so we don't waste our precious time. Next step is to break down the learning outcome into the logical learning blocks. In our case, we want to create engineering drawings using CAD software. But what are engineering drawings and what types do we have? Then there is this projection on the engineering drawing. So how do I get this projection there? I need CAD model for that. So that is in a nutshell how we are going to break it down. Let us now dive into the learning blocks for CADD. Fundamentals. Understanding the importance and types of engineering documentation. Understanding the engineering drawing, building blocks and basic elements. Understanding projection methods on engineering drawings. Understanding section and detail views on engineering drawing. Understanding dimensions, tolerances and fits on engineering drawings. Understanding one-dimensional tolerance analysis and tolerance stack-up. Understanding GDNT or GPS according to ISO. Understanding what computer-aided design is and CAD modeling types. Learn about available CAD software on the market. Understanding CAD file formats. Understanding CAD part modeling module. Understanding CAD assembly modeling module. Understanding CAD drawing creation module. Practical part. Define the area of interest. Define the CAD software for your area of interest. Learn the basics of CAD software of your choosing. Find the practical examples for your area of interest. Practice creating drawings for your area of interest. Practice more and more and more. Now that we have a learning blocks defined, I would like to talk about why it is important to start with the fundamentals. If you watched my video 10 mistakes that young mechanical design engineers make, you know that I mentioned that one of the biggest mistake is not covering the basics. My suggestion is always that you first learn the fundamentals, then you learn the software. Software is only as smart as the person using it. So first invest time in learning fundamentals and terminology and then use that knowledge to learn software efficiently. And this is one of the secrets of the trade. Google is your friend, so learn how to use it. For example, Engineering drawings rules are not defined by CAD software, but by standard organizations like ISO and ASME. Once you know the fundamentals and what you are looking for, it is not a problem to find on the internet how to do it in a specific CAD software. On the other hand, in CAD modeling, the types of CAD modeling techniques are mostly the same for all CAD software. So once when you learn the logic behind solid modeling and for example extrude command, in CAD software, you can easily learn it for every software. Literally, you go on Google or YouTube and write extrude insert CAD software name. Here are some sources that you can use to find learning materials. Google. You write in Google Fundamentals of CADD, Introduction to CADD, CADD books and similar. You do the basic research on Google. YouTube. You can use YouTube to find educational videos on this topic, similar to how you would use Google. You can watch videos from content creators like myself to get a basic understanding of the topic. On my channel, you have two playlists with almost 20 videos on engineering drawings and computer-aided design fundamentals. Courses. You could use platforms like Udemy to find the right course for your level of knowledge. Currently, I'm working on creating an engineering drawing course and if you are interested, there is a link in the description for a waiting list. I will notify you weekly of the course's progress and let you know when it is launched. 
Once you learn the fundamentals of computer-aided design and drafting, it is time to put them into practice. In this step, you will start learning CAD software based on your personal interest. Figure out which area of mechanical engineering is interesting for you. For Abu, that would be automotive engineering. For some of you, that might be aerospace, medical, nuclear, marine or machine building engineering. For example, Abu is a student of automotive engineering. Based on his personal interest, he will choose the CAD software he needs to learn to land a job in automotive industry. Abu can either Google which CAD software he should learn or find it on YouTube. However, I would always suggest that you find a trusting source of information. The best thing that you or Abu could do is to do your own research on which software you should use. You either find job postings for the area of your interest or for a specific company you are interested in. You find as many job postings as possible and come to the conclusion about CAD software yourself. Additionally, you could reach out to the people who are there where you want to be and ask them. Once you decided which software you should learn, you should learn that CAD software basics. There are many tutorials on YouTube and finding the ones that fit your needs is not a problem. Additionally, if you follow the learning blocks that I laid out to you, you already have an understanding of CAD and you know exactly what you need to learn. Further in-depth learning comes by designing and drafting the components and assemblies that are interesting to you. For example, Abu could learn how to 3D model a car engine, suspension, body, etc. and create engineering drawings for them. He could use Google, YouTube and books to help him learn about this topic. Furthermore, courses are also very valuable sources of learning and you should look into that too. In this way, the learning process will be much more efficient and interesting for you and you set yourself in the direction of future jobs. You might even write your thesis on the topic to further develop your skills in the area of interest. Finally, you practice, practice and practice. You fail, research, learn, apply and fail again. The more you fail, the faster you will learn. So do not be burdened by doing everything right the first time. No one was born knowing everything. Failing is an important part of the learning process and I would encourage you to fail and learn from it as much as you humanly can. Explaining topics like this in one video is not easy. We all have our own interests and styles of learning and we have to do the work to figure out some of the things for ourselves. I am confident that now you have enough information to start and do your own research on how to learn CADD for your particular wants and needs. I would like to encourage you once more to reach out in the comments and share feedback about this type of content or any questions you might have. And if you like this type of content and you would like to see more of it in the future, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you would like to learn more about engineering drawings and CAD fundamentals, I have two playlists for you to watch.